how to make a delicious vegan roasted salad. Here you see we've got asparagus, broccoli, beets. I have red organic potatoes, a delicious beefsteak tomato, jalapeno pepper, turmeric root, and a cucumber, baby spinach, and baby arugula to mix it in once I've grilled the vegetables. So what we're going to do is we're going to slice these all up and we're going to grill them and we're going to put them over this bed of delicious baby arugula and spinach. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut these red potatoes with the skin on. We're going to cut them in very small, thin, almost like potato chips. Got to be careful when you're cutting them. I'm not a professional chef, so, you know, and neither are most, pe most people aren't either. So you just got to, don't cut your finger. <laughs> if I do, that would be awesome on tape. Okay, I don't think I need to do too many of them. But then we're going to go ahead and lay them out on here. Okay, next, to get my broccoli out, I'm just going to go ahead and cut off the heads. And then I'm just going to set them inside of here too, breaking them up, making them smaller. And I think I want to get a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of the stem in there too. Go ahead and get the other head. Take these, put them over here. Breaking them up a little bit. Just like cracking them to little pieces. So they cook better. And I'm laying them right on top of the uh, potatoes. Right there. Next, I'm going to grab my asparagus, bring her in here. Now, asparagus, supposedly, if you get to the bottom and pop it, that's where you want to have it. If you do it like that, it's supposed to be, you're supposed to, it's supposed to pop right at the spot where it would be good. So we're going to try to do that. I like to do one at a time. That way, I don't I don't waste it. I want to. The, the bottoms are really hard, so you don't want the uh, asparagus to uh, be chewy. That's it. All right. Now we got our asparagus. Next, we're going to bring in our baby carrots, organic. I'm going to go ahead and just lop off this on all of these because I'm not going to use that. Just lop those off. And these, I'm, you know what? I'm just going to leave them in their skins because you know what? It tastes good that way. So now we got all this. So let's take a look at this. And we're just going to go ahead and just cut it right down the center. Maybe one more time. And we're going to leave them just like that. Put them in there. Then we're going to take the ends and we're just going to pop them. Just pop it. All right, and a couple more of these. Some of the bigger ones you can cut in two so they cook quicker. The smaller ones you can leave like they are. Next, we're going to get our beets. As you can see, we've got them. These are a little bit harder to cut than the potatoes. They're a little bit stronger. So you gotta be careful, and they bleed a lot. So you don't wanna get them all over your countertop. Just 
be careful not to cut your fingers off. Yeah. Then I'm going to make them one cut like that, one cut like that, then pepper this in on top. One more. Okay, bring this one out. One, two, three, four, five. This is the tricky part where you get that last one. That's where you don't want to cut your finger. One, put it in quarters. Put that out there. And last one, get this one here. Beets are super good for you. Eat your beets whenever you can. They oxygenate the blood system. It's been found that in studies that people that eat beets have 18 to 20 percent more oxygen flow through their muscles. So it's a good way if you're an athlete to get that edge. Especially before competition. Drink beet juice or eat some beets. It'll give you that 20% push that you need. All right, then last thing I have is jalapeno pepper. And I'm just gonna go ahead and slice this into little chunks. And this is going to give a little bit of flavor. And I'm just going to kind of pepper it through here. All right, so I put all the vegetables in here. I kind of try to separate them a little bit. I've got all the asparagus, the potatoes, broccoli, carrots, jalapenos. Next thing I'm going to add is uh, organic garlic. <laughs> get it in there and uh, you know get this kind of smush it around a little bit you don't want it all in one spot okay. all right and this is ready to go in the oven I'm gonna put it in the oven at 350 degrees for approximately 15 minutes and that should do it so we're going to mix our baby spinach and baby arugula with some delicious tomato and cucumber. The center of this one's a little hard, so I'm going to get rid of that by eating it. And then these, we're going to put right inside there. This, I'm going to cut. One, two, so they're still nice and good size. Then slap that inside there. And this one here, we'll go ahead and do that again. And, hmm, put that one in there too, delicious. All right, next, cucumber. Cucumber, we're gonna do it kind of the same way. I don't really like this end piece, but that's all right. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this into circles, just like this. I'm going to go ahead and make a big salad because I'll eat it over a couple days. This is all vegan, all organic. Okay, we're getting in, running out of room here, so let's take this up this way. Go right down the center. Bam, cut. Let's do one more. And we put it all in quarters. Drop it in there. One, two, and drop her in. And then let's finish off that cucumber. Whatever we have left, we'll use for Mmm, delish. Stack them up like chips. Down the center we go. Put her in there. All right, so now we got our salad and we go ahead and mix that up. And this is gonna be the delicious raw bed that we're gonna put our roasted 
vegetables on top of for our dinner this evening. Simple vegan meals that you can make, very a low amount of cleanup, there's no grease involved, so it's a much cleaner type of feel cooking. This type of food is nutrient dense and calorically deficient. And what I mean by that, most of this is water and cellulose. So all you're really getting is the valuable nutrients. You're not getting fats and excess proteins that you don't need. And that's what makes a vegan diet such a healthy one. And I almost forgot an onion. And this, this outside piece does not look too good. So I'm gonna get rid of that. It's like stringy. Get rid of that. But the rest of it we're gonna keep. I take it, cut it down this way. And I'm gonna do my quartering again. There we go. All right. Sprinkle it on here. One delicious onion. Liberally disperse. And we're ready to go. These over here we get rid of. All right. That's it. This is just about ready to go in the oven. This is just about ready to go in the oven. Okay, so here we have our delicious roasted uh, salad toppings that we're going to put on. So what we got to do is we got to go over here and we're going to uh, uh, preheat to 350 and when it gets there it's going to tell us to put the sheet in. Then we're going to shove it inside. Meanwhile in the freezer I've been chilling this delicious bottle of Kendall Jackson Reserve Chardonnay 2015 Buttery. We're gonna open that baby up and start drinking it right now. All right, this delicious piece of bread is gonna be easy. So what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna put it in the oven, 375 degrees. We're gonna place it right in the middle of the baking sheet and we're gonna bake it for about eight to 12 minutes. And then we're gonna let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes before we serve it. It's gonna be delicious. It's gonna go great with these vegetables. But you know what? Hey, I like big glasses, and I can't deny. Ooh, that's delicious. That's good. Okay, well, we're almost there. 308. All right, we've hit perigee. Well, it's 350 degrees. Here's the thing. It's telling us to put it in. Slap that baby right in there. I'm going to take this bread. I'm going to slide it right into the middle, right underneath it. Bam, done. Now we go to bake. All right, I think I got it cooking now. All right, let's take a look and see how we're doing. Don't want to get too close. Oh yeah, that looks like it's deliciously cooked. All right, now I got to pull it out. So I've got to get a special mitt to do that. And uh, my mitt is in here. I don't want to burn my hands because this is 400 fucking degrees. And this looks pretty darn, darn delicious. Oh my god, it's so heavy I can barely lift it up. Check that out, huh? Now we gotta let it cool a little bit. And our bread's still cooking. Let that keep going. Just like that. Big old giant thing. Looks good. More. There you have it, an easy to cook, delicious vegan meal. Asparagus, carrots, potatoes, onions, garlic, baby arugula, tomato, everything that you could possibly deliciously want. Yummy.